in the interest of time, I am not going to do all of these crazy examples. Like, you know, it's the same thing. Do the same thing over and over. I don't think synthetic division is difficult. I just think it's obnoxious. But I do want to go ahead and solve right here uh, example five for you. Check it out. This is one of those things. I'm going to start by rewriting this in terms of long division. So I would go ahead and write this as here's what the long division would look like. Here's what long division looks like. Uh, x plus 3 into, and this is super important, I have my x cubed. Notice I'm missing my 0x's, so what do I, my squareds, I mean. So what am I going to do? I'm going to add my square there. What about my x's? I'm missing my x's there, so I'm going to go ahead and add my 0 there. And then my 27, I'm going to do this. Oh my god, mister, this is so hard. How do I know to add the zeros in here? Well, when you see an x to the cubed, and you don't see an x squared, and you don't see an x to the 1, that means you need to add it in there. I don't think that's hard, and I don't need to spend more time on this. Y'all, figure it out. Your highest one is the third, and it goes all the way down to a number. That means you need to make sure you have a second and a first. That's, that's it. It's not that big of a deal. So now I'm going to go ahead and switch colors, and I'm going to go to synthetic division. So let's go to synthetic. Synthetic. I think the only thing I like about synthetic division is the name. I love that word synthetic. I don't know why. Anyways, I'm using this from the beginning. With that said, I'm going to go ahead and do this thing. We're going to change the sign on this three right here. So that's going to give us negative three, which is awesome. We're going to draw our little upside down synthetic division house. And then check out my numbers. Check out this. There's a one in front of that x cubed. There's a zero in front of that x squared. There's a zero in front of that x. And there's a 27 here. See how crazy this is? And the first step, bring down your 1. So now here we go. 1 times negative 3 is negative 3. 0 plus negative 3 is negative 3. Negative 3 times negative 3 is, in fact, positive 9. 0 plus 9 is 9. 9 times negative 3 is negative 27. 27 minus 27 is 0. Awesome. We have a remainder. So let's go ahead and do this. So how do I write this out? So we found that, yes, x plus 3 is a factor. So x plus 3 is a factor, is a factor, hooray for us, is a factor. So the full answer looks like this. I'm going to put my x plus 3 here, and then I'm going to construct this. Remember, this is the remainder place. Numbers, x to the 1, x to the 2. It's kind of weird, but it's just how it is. So I have 1x to the 2, 1x squared. You do not have to write that 1, y'all. This is just for people who need to see it. I have a negative 3x right here, and then I have a plus 9 right here, and I have a remainder 0. Boom. That's it. That's synthetic division. Now y'all can see why I, it's fine, but it's not my favorite. So with that said, you have what it takes to solve the rest of the uh, assignment. And I'm just going to make y'all do it. And so, okay, that's it.